Today marks the opening of the 20th edition of the Entertainment Expo Hong Kong. This event highlights the best of Hong Kong films, television, music, and digital entertainment. I can't wait to meet stars and directors from around the world. Let's go. Filmmark, which opens today, is Asia's leading entertainment content marketplace for the creative industries. I wish all the buyers and sellers here from all over the world the best business at the Expo. And for the many thousands of visitors to this Expo and its 10 bigger events, I wish you all a rewarding experience. Cheers! Organized by the Hong Kong Trade Development Council, HKTTC, Filmart is a four-day event and a key part of the Entertainment Expo. It serves as Asia's leading entertainment content marketplace, facilitating content production, distribution, co-production, and investment opportunities. The event aims to strengthen Hong Kong's position as a regional intellectual property trading hub. Let's have a chat with a local filmmaker to gain some market insights. Of these projects that you're working on, are there any specific cultural characteristics you want to share about Hong Kong? Hong Kong actually has a very long history in filmmaking, uh, particularly in terms of cop films, big action thrillers. So we've always made those, uh, and there's always a market for those sort of films. Uh, people will always go to theatres, but I think you need to offer a lot of different variety in, in, to, to retain them. People are now relating more to the characters in the movies, so we need to come up with interesting characters for movies and that's certainly a, a direction we're moving into. Now what are your expectations for film art this year? Everyone knows that the big market is actually in China. Uh, this is a, a very good opportunity to meet a lot of visitors from China. We will hold meetings with them, uh, talk to them and get to understand a lot more about what the Chinese market want. This year's Film Art featured over 750 exhibitors from more than 25 countries and regions, showcasing a diverse array of international and local productions. It provided opportunities for exchange amongst industry professionals, enabling them to explore ways of expanding their reach in both local and international markets. Now, what kind of films and projects have you brought to Film Art this year? We brought uh, many titles, many genres, from drama to horror here to Indonesia, to film art. Is horror one of the cultural characteristics you want to share from Indonesia to Hong Kong? I mean, Indonesia is culturally rich, and horror is one of the most favorite genre in Indonesia. So we, in Indonesia, we have so many folklore, we have so many spiritual stories. We expect to meet with the industry player, of course, the distributor. We do quite well in Indonesia, but we would like to share our stories to international. Thirty pavilions representing various countries and regions were set up this year. RTHK showcased their prime TV programs at the event too. Entertainment Pulse, a four-day conference that ran concurrently with Filmart, offered the latest insights and market information in the field of entertainment. Can you share how the TV and film production have adapted from traditional practices to current video streaming? I believe streaming uh, has now taken over a lot more of our users' time of the day, uh, which is a good thing. I think the need now is actually not just quantity, but quality. In the last uh, couple of years in particular, uh, we witnessed that uh, a lot of our projects have become uh, what we call premium content that is the most demanding to users. It's about listening to what the uh, users uh, and even subscribers are looking for. By listening, we meant by looking at uh, the kind of content they consume, uh, the uh, social trends that we observe, but at the same time, we are implementing a lot more AIGC, so AI technologies, into our production process, so in order to uh, streamline and uh, uh, deliver faster of uh, good content. The Expo will run until April 14th, and for all the cinephiles, don't forget to keep an eye out for the upcoming Hong Kong International Film Festival and Hong Kong Film Awards.